exponential and logarithmic equations. We begin with the equivalence property. If bx and y are reals, b is positive and not 1, then b to the power x equals b to the power y implies that x equals y. In this problem, we're asked to solve 16 to the power 5 minus x equals 1 fourth to the power 3x plus 1. So if we're going to use the equivalence property, and that's what we have to do here, we must get the same base. So this is equivalent to 4 squared to the power 5 minus x equals 4 to the power negative 1 to the power 3x plus 1. So this becomes 4 to the power 10 minus 2x equals 4 to the power negative 3x minus 1. So this gives me 10 minus 2x equals negative 3x minus 1. Add 3x to both sides, I get x, 10 plus x, subtract 10 from both sides, I get negative 11. The solution set is negative 11. Next, we're asked to solve 4 to the power x equals 25. And there's just no way to get these both to the base of 4. So how do I solve that? Well, start with the equation. I am going to take the natural log of both sides using the power property. So that is x times ln 4 equals ln 25. Now remember, ln 4 and ln 25 are just numbers. So we're going to divide both sides by ln 4. So this is ln 25 divided by ln 4. What if I decided to use log base 10? So I could take the log of both sides and again use the power rule or the power property of logarithms to remove the x from the exponent, so that is x times the logarithm of 4, just a number, equals the logarithm of 25, and I have x equals log 25 divided by log 4. Now how could that be? Let me show you that these answers are exactly the same. So ln, or the natural log of 25, divided by the natural log of 4 we get 2.3219, etc. Now let's do the common log of 25 divided by the common log of 4. And we get exactly the same answer, 2.3219280095. So the solution set is ln 25 divided by ln 4. This example says solve. We have 10 to the power 4x plus 3 subtract 6,000 equals 3,000. I want to isolate the exponential expression. So I add 6,000 to both sides and I get 10 to a power equals 9,000. Now because the base here is 10, it makes the most sense to me to take the common logarithm log of both sides. So this gives me log 10 to the power 4x plus 3 equals log 9,000. Now I will use the power property that gives me 4x plus 3 multiplied by log 10. Log 10 is just 1, isn't it? So this becomes 4x plus 3 equals log 9,000. x equals log 9,000 minus 3, all divided by 4. The solution set I would have to have log 9,000 minus 3 all divided by 4. In this example, we're going to solve exactly and also give an approximate answer to four decimal places. We have 5 to the power 1 minus x equals 4 to the power x plus 2. So we're never going to get those to the same base. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides the natural log of 5, and I'm going to put parentheses around the exponent, equals the natural log of 4 to the exponent x plus 2. So that's the natural log of 5. I'm going to put parentheses around the exponent 1 minus x, equals the natural log of 4, parentheses around the exponent x plus 2. And now by the 
power rule of logarithms or the power property, that is 1 minus x. There's a quantity, so I'm going to put the parentheses around it, multiplying ln 5, and then I have x plus 2, that's a quantity, hence the parentheses around it, ln 4. ln 5 is just a number, it's 1.609, etc. And ln 4 is just a number, 1.38, etc. So I'm going to distribute. So I get ln 5 minus x times ln 5 equals x times ln 4 plus 2 times ln 4. Now I'm going to isolate the variable. I'm going to put x on one side of the equation. So on the right-hand side, x plus ln 4 plus, on the right-hand side, x times ln 4 plus x times ln 5. On the left-hand side, ln 5 subtract 2 times ln 4. Now I'm going to flip these around and I'm going to factor out the x. This becomes x multiplied by the quantity ln 4 plus ln 5. And that equals ln 5 minus 2 times ln 4. Divide both sides by the number ln 4 plus ln 5. So x is ln 5 minus 2 times ln 4, all divided by ln 4 plus ln 5. Of course, that same number must be in the solution set. So we've seen the exact solution. Now we use the calculator to determine that. Make sure you put the entire numerator in parentheses and the entire denominator also must be in parentheses or you'll get the wrong answer. And this is approximately negative 3883. So the approximate solution is negative 0.3883 and the exact solution is given in the solution set ln5 minus 2ln4 all divided by ln4 plus ln5. Next we're going to solve an exponential equation that's in quadratic form. I want you to notice that e to the x squared is equal to e to the 2x. So we're going to let u equal e to the x. So that means u squared equals e to the 2x. And we're going to change this equation. So this equation becomes u squared minus 4u minus 32 equals 0, and then we need to factor it. Now remember, if you can't factor, you can use the quadratic formula. So I have u plus 4 multiplied by u minus 8 equals 0. That will be the factorization. And that means either u equals negative 4 or u equals positive 8. But u is e to the x, so e to the x equals negative 4, or e to the x equals 8. It is not possible to make 2.7183 approximately to the power x. It's not possible to make this positive number to a power equal a negative number. It's not possible. So if I plot e to the x on a standard graphing window, I'll see that e to the x never goes below the x-axis. It never is negative. So the only possible solution here is e to the x equals 8. I'm going to take the natural log of e to the x, and I'm going to take the natural log of 8. So that's x times the natural log of e, which of course is just 1, equals the natural log of 8. So x equals the natural log of 8. And of course, the solution set just contains the natural log of 8. The logarithmic form of the equivalence property, b, x, and y are reals, b is positive, and not 1. If log base b, x equals log base b, y, that means x equals y. In this example, we're going to solve exactly natural log of x minus 5 equals natural log of x plus 7 minus natural log of x. So we're going to use the quotient property. Natural log of x minus 5 equals the natural log of x plus 7 divided by x. Now we can use the equivalence property. x minus 5 equals x plus 7 divided by x. So I better put parentheses around the x minus 5. 
So I'll multiply both sides by x. x squared minus 5x equals x plus 7. So this is x squared minus 5x minus x minus 7 equals 0. x squared minus 6x minus 7 equals 0. If I factor that, I'll get x minus 7 multiplied by x plus 1. So x equals 7 or x equals negative 1. Now I have to check. Is it true that ln 2 equals ln 14 minus ln 7? Yes, that is true. So x equals 7 is a solution. When x equals negative 1, the very first term on the left-hand side becomes ln negative 1 minus 5 or ln negative 6. That can't be correct because the argument of a log function must be positive. Negative 6 is not in the domain, so x equals negative 1 is not part of the solution set. The only part of the solution set is x equals 7. It's the only one that checks. Next, we're going to solve exactly 8 times logarithm base 2 to x minus 4 equals 24. I want to isolate the logarithm. 24 divided by 8 is 3. And now I can use the definition of the logarithm. The base is 2, the logarithm is 3, equals the argument 2x minus 4. So this means that 2x minus 4 equals 8. 2x equals, add 4 to both sides, 12x equals 6. So the solution set here is 6, and this relies on me using the definition of the logarithm. Next, we're going to solve exactly log base 3x equals 2, subtract log base 3, x minus 8. I want to isolate the logarithms, get all the logarithms on one side. So that means log base 3x plus log base 3x minus 8 equals 2. Now I'm going to use the product rule, log base 3x times x minus 8 equals 2. So the equivalent exponential form here is 3 to the power 2 equals x squared minus 8x. So that gives me x squared minus 8x equals 9, or x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals 0. So that is x minus 9 multiplied by x plus 1 equals 0. Now I have to check each of these answers. First I'm going to check x equals 9. y equals alpha window on my calculator gets me log base 3x. In y2, log base 3x minus 8. Second quick gets me back to the home screen. Second table set, I'll make sure that my Table is in ask mode. Second quid gets me back to the home screen. Second table, and I put in 9, and I see that these do equal one another. So this checks out. Now let me check x equals negative 1. I don't even need to put that in the calculator because log base 3 with an argument of negative 1 is undefined. Negative 1 is not in the argument. Therefore, the solution set contains the value 9.